Hello everyone. Welcome to another session on big data technologies. Let's continue to learn about Cassandra. Today we will learn how to create tables or column family in Cassandra, insert some data into that column family and at last we will also fetch that data using talent. Let's see what we have created so far in our earlier project. So this project is fetching Zach's website's ranking for a given stock using this THTML parse. We will take off this denormalize as we don't need uh, the records as multiple records but we just need one record and uh, the value should be comma separated so I'll just connect these two together and let me just run it excellent so it is returning us the ratings let's continue from here so very first thing is we will create a table in Cassandra and send these for ratings to the database along with the stock name. Right now it is pulling null, but we will see how to fix that. Let's create a job level variable called stock. It will be available throughout this job for any of the components. So I'll call it as stock and the value I will give it is Tesla. It's LA in double quotes. In case of any RDBMS, we generally first create, create the database with the tables then we use select queries on top of them with various where clauses, group by clauses, etc. And once we find that performance is degrading, we introduce more and more of indexes. Whereas in case of NoSQL such as Cassandra, you need to have a top-down approach, meaning you have to first look at how your queries are going to be and based on that you have to design your uh, table structure or uh, column family as it is called in Cassandra. So let's create the table structure. So we have these four ratings and we will make all of them as text so that they can hold a character kind of data or alphanumeric. This is what our um, key space. We will call the table as strong ratings and open bracket, closing bracket. We need uh, uh, some more column. We will need a column called stock that will have text and it will store four characters of stock name. We will also need a rating time that will store, uh, that can be of time timestamp that will have a date and time of when was this rating recorded. We will also create a unique ID called ID which will be of type UUID and we could use uh, Cassandra's functions to generate a unique ID for us which will be based on time. Apart from storing this data I will also be fetching the last rating of any given stock. So in order to do that I need to create the primary key in such a way that it facilitates my fetches. The syntax is primary key of the first one that we want to sort it by is stock and then by rating time and finally by id here so our query is ready let's run this on cassandra sql shell so i copy this query launch my sql search paste the query and it needs a semicolon let's store some data into this column family don't need them go to talent i'll need a t cassandra row component to issue a insert command. Well, before I go there, uh, I would I'll just deactivate this and keep it aside, and I'll get back to that later. I'll need to first send each of the ratings out of this T Java row component so that it is accessible as a separate parameter rather than uh, one long string like this. So let's do that first. T Java row component and we maximize this. Now let me first define an integer int i equal to 0 and then inside this if statement I will paste a couple of statements. It is going to check if it at the 0th position that is the integer that I just declared. If it is at 0 that means it is the very first rating in which case I will assign that value or the rating to growth rating. Similarly, if it is second one, I will assign it to momentum, third one to value rating, and the last one to VGM rating. And I'll keep incrementing that I. Okay, so that should have gotten all the ratings into each of these values. So let's check that if we are getting it. First of all, 
we have to make sure the columns are coming here they are not coming in so let's see i'll create these four columns here uh, with the prefix z to denote that they were fetched from zack website i'll also get rid of this url variable which is just uh, carrying null value and instead of that we will use uh, the context variable let's propagate the changes we also have to update our variable names that we used here also since we declared them as string i will have to convert each of these okay let me maximize we will have to convert each of these characters to string so character so we have all of them and we have z prefix for each of these all right that should be pretty much it and we should be able to see the changes let's see yeah, let's run this error z vgm rating let's check the name of the variables that we used oh i see new here this is the re reason i'll take off this new i named some of these wrong that should fix it yes and clear run character cannot be resolved which one line number one five four six character cannot be resolved it is converting to z momentum rating ah i typed it wrong character r a c t e r it should be in the designer here mr a here and i just copied it this is fine let's run there we have the data being passed on to those variables as expected let's move on to the next step okay let's first figure out how do we insert this data into cassandra um, to do that let me write some insert statements just like how we do it in a rdbms and then we will replace it with actual variables so i'll replace all these ratings with a to get a sample a as sample data a as sample rating all right i need more columns here uh, that is stock name rating time and then uh, stock name let's say tesla comma rating time you can get it from date of and now that will return us that current date and time for id i'll just use now that will give us okay this now should be in a bracket all right and then comma i mean let me check it once again insert into into is the one word so yeah this should be good let's try this out on uh, cassandra with my sqlsh so i just paste it here our table name is stock ratings not rankings so let's change that i'm trying not to fix the mistakes behind the scenes but rather i'm exploring the solutions right in front of you guys so that we all learn something together let's try this again paste yep it got inserted so i can also say that's add stock ratings there we have our record let's see how do we use the same insert statements in a t cassandra row component okay let me switch back to the job and we had disabled the t cassandra row output i'll activate it now i can define the attributes here or the properties of connection here instead of that let me create a global setting i'll go to metadata no sql connections right click create connection we'll call this, this as cassandra local cassandra cassandra Draw. nothing else is required there i'll just say local host i have the key space name as ss check it successful okay finish i come back to t cassandra and say built instead of built in i'll say repository and choose the local cassandra that i created so now it brings in the details of the server automatically so this will really help you if you are deploying this to another server later on we'll see all those steps in a separate video for now we are just going to reuse the connection that we have created once okay so taking this further let's make some space here all right so i'll send the data that we gathered here to t cassandra t cassandra row 
okay in t cassandra i need to make some more changes all right we have column family which is called stock i have to give it in a double quote stock ratings and then i will have to use our insert statement that we just created here and make a couple of changes on top of that if you saw it was in a double quote the existing code was in double quote let's me put it in double quote just like how it was and we will make the changes there are no changes on okay let me maximize this so that we have space to see everything okay so those are the column names these are the values so instead of tesla i would say i would use context dot stock this is the same context stock variable that we had created here i'm going to use that all right date of now remains same now remains same and ratings so here i'm going to use the variables that I, that were created do i see them here yeah here edit schema we'll take the first one since we have the whole string in a double quote i'll have to close the double quote and add a plus sign so that it takes the dynamic value of the variables so now it is going to pick the context dot stock value and append it within the text within the string so similarly we will do it here too plus okay we also have to prefix this with the output pipeline that we are receiving so which is called row 3 here as you see the row 3 is providing the data to t cassandra row so we will use that as the prefix we go back maximize and we prefix this with row 3 dot i'll just reuse the same one i'll copy this and add it to all of them there is a single quote between the characters i'll retain those by adding a single quote here and i should be replacing only a part i'll add double quotes two double quotes plus plus sign and then say row 3 dot then the next variable name again i'll do the same thing here two double quotes and in between i add two plus signs row 3 dot this seems to be wrong we don't need this inside Nothing else seems to be fine let's run this and see it. okay looks like it has inserted here we have the second record okay so now our job is fetching the ratings and it is storing it in uh, cassandra now we would like to make this job a little more smarter and make a distinction in this t java row component whether the ratings have changed from the previous readings let's say i run it tomorrow and uh, ratings changed a little bit make it identify the changes and then maybe in the future videos we can send a, send out an email with the changes so in this video let's just connect cassandra input and we will read the previous ratings of the same stock i'll drag t cassandra input and i'll change it to repository choose the one i have local cassandra and then column family I change it to and the query I change to I paste this query here okay here I am selecting the stock name and all the ratings that I have from SS stock ratings table where stock name is Tesla order by rating time which will sort it on descending order of rating time that is the last one will come first and then limit one will fetch only one of the record which is what we want that is just the last rating and also i have to replace this tesla so that it picks up stock from the variable that we have created save it that should pretty much be it for this setting rest of the default settings are fine now i cannot connect uh, output of this cassandra row these two are two different uh, sources so what i can do is i can use the tmap to connect these two together and then send the output to t java row so let me do that okay there it is and i send the output of this cassandra to tmap also from html parse so this became lookup that's fine i'll double click and what information do i need from this just the document nothing else okay i need to create an output yeah output one is fine just drag and drop this document 
that's the only column we need from there okay i don't see the ratings that coming from uh, cassandra input so let me check i have not defined any columns here so let me define them clearing it as a water that should fix it let me okay now i should find the columns yep we have that. where is our output output one i'll copy all these columns i uh, note that i didn't care about the stock here uh, as we already have it in in the global variable we'll just use it from there i'll also drag this document and we don't need anything else from here just say okay and let it go to t java row doesn't want to connect I'll just cancel right click and choose out one to t java row one say yes okay this should all be fine let's run this and see if we get all the columns okay so that clearly means that we brought in the data from cassandra into tmap and joined the ratings along with it and passed it on to java row uh, as such we didn't make use of that data yet uh, we'll see that in a future video so that's a wrap for this session. Uh, in this session, we learned how to read from Cassandra as well as how to write onto Cassandra. Also, we saw how do we join two sources into one using Tmap and send the data to the other components. In the future session, we will explore more about how do we make use of this data and make a decision of whether the rating has changed. And based on that information, we will take further actions such as sending email out. Okay, so hope you learned something out of this session, both on Cassandra side as well as talent. If you did, please give me a thumbs up on this video and also subscribe to this channel to get further updates on new videos.